Spencer couple says their house has a target on it. Over the past few days, they've found arrows on or around their home three different times. Are hunters shooting and missing, or is this target practice more sinister? Katie Brace spoke with the homeowners in Worcester who say it's dangerous either way, especially with their grandkids around. Oh, Can yes. you believe this? Some us trying to kill us. Loretta Sclafani laughs only because the absurdity of what she and her husband have dealt with the past few days. When you drive up, he saw. He says, "Honey, someone shot at the house. An arrow." I said, "An arrow? Come on." Yes, an arrow sticking out from the garage roof marks their house on Crowning Shield Road in Worcester. But now this is the first time we've been under siege. On two other days, they found two more hunting arrows. Right exactly where you are. This one found on the deck has no point. The one in the yard was identical. The police took it as part of their report. The arrow in the roof is clearly sharp enough to get stuck. I have a granddaughter. My nieces and great nieces come up here. God forbid if ever the arrow missed and it came down here and the kids were walking by. The sight brought Tom LaMarche over from across the street. I think that's awful. That's so dangerous. The couple thinks whomever shot the arrow was aiming for the cupola or even the bird on top of the weather vane. We're too old to climb up there to get it. <laughs> WBZ photographer Tom Bravo volunteered and climbed onto the roof and removed the arrow stuck in the shingles. Oh my God, see that? The arrow has a removable sharp tip with razors on the side. Loretta brought it to her husband who used to hunt. This here is mostly for, I would have to say, deer hunting. Yeah, this, this. That definitely would kill a child. Oh yeah. The couple believes a kid or kids are shooting the arrows. They hope someone sees this and puts a stop to a potentially dangerous game. In Worcester, Katie Brace, WBZ News.